Hey everyone, it's Tony Sauce. Thank you for checking out the video. So in this video, we're gonna be doing our final team of the year preparations. Now I pretty much have all of the cards that I need in order to get at least like one team of the year card, but we're still just gonna be doing like our final prep and I'm gonna be going over everything that I'm gonna be doing until team of the year comes out on Friday, January 5th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Not 5 p.m. like the normal updates are, 1 p.m. Eastern time, so keep that in mind. So I got a little checklist pulled up here. I know it's kind of nerdy, but like, it is what it is. <laughs> so one of my main goals is to get eight diamond collectibles for an 85 plus pack. So if we come over to the sets and then we go to the game mode sets over here, this last batch of sets is gonna be for diamond collectibles. Now, if you put in eight diamond collectibles, you get a guaranteed 185 plus overall pack. Like that's actually fucking insane. 85 plus pack like there's a good chance of a purple being in there I feel like and adding this to my arsenal of packs when team of the year comes out is just gonna be that much sweeter brev So I already have three diamond collectibles I need five more diamond collectibles and here's how I'm gonna get them I'm gonna do live moment challenges for four diamond collectibles So 50 you can trade in 15 live moment collectibles for one diamond collectible meaning I need 60 live moment collectibles to do that you just come over here to the live moment sets it's gonna be all the way here at the end. All right, I already have one actually, so I, I guess I need 59. But to get those collectibles, all we're gonna do is come over to the single player tab, hut moments, and come over to the live moments. I've already done a shitload of these. I think I have like 22 in my inbox right now, but they're pretty easy. You know, you look right here, two live moment collectibles and one gold player pack. Um, you know, there's like fucking six right here. Uh, four right here so you can just rip these challenges and along the way you're also going to be getting one gold player pack so this is definitely something that you should do to prepare for team of the week team of the year jesus so after i grind out a shitload of these live moment challenges i'm still going to need one more diamond collectible and i'm going to get that by grinding hot rush tomorrow so i already finished up hot rush for this week if you haven't i definitely recommend doing it it ends tomorrow and it's really easy this week you get decent rewards. I mean, like the elite pack is probably the best that you can get, but you know, four gold player pack here, four gold player pack, three gold player pack, it's worth doing, okay? So it ends tomorrow. So I'm just gonna grind these tomorrow. Like I'm just gonna finish it tomorrow. I'm gonna get 10 hot rush collectibles and I can trade those in for a diamond collectible. Bang, that will be my eighth diamond collectible and I'll be able to get that 85 overall plus uh, player pack. So after I bang out all of the live moments to get my four diamond collectibles, tonight I'm also just gonna grind some extra hut moments for packs and coins. Now you can actually get a shitload of rewards from hut moments. I already, I've already done like so many of them, so you'll probably have more rewards than I do, but there's still some pretty good rewards in here for me. So base pack, one gold player, 500 coins. Two gold player pack, 1,000 coins. Base pack, one gold player, 500 coins. Like there's some pretty solid rewards in here. So I'm just gonna grind these as much as I can tonight. I think I also have some over here that I can do. Yeah, the Nations of Hockey moments. There's some pretty good ones in here that I can do. Mini pack, one gold player, a thousand coins. Premium pack, one gold player, a thousand coins, and so on and so on. So that's also what I'm going to be grinding tonight. Finally, I'm going to be doing um, some Hut Rivals tonight because you can get those... Um, those tier packs so like every it's like you get two wins in a row you get like a, a pack you get the next it goes to the next tier you get three player uh three wins in a row you get another pack and then there's the third tier you get three wins in a row you get another pack so i'm going to be grinding rivals for that as well i'll also be getting coins and points for rivals rewards next week so it's kind of a double whammy there now that's going to be tonight for tomorrow that's when hot rush is going to start again i'm going to do all of the rewards for that get all the packs I'm also gonna get that last diamond collectible that I need. Then I'm also gonna be grinding rivals and then any extra hut moments that I haven't done. Um, I feel like that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else I could grind for. If you guys have any suggestions, definitely drop them in the comments, but I feel like just grinding out those live moments for the diamond collectible in the 85 plus choice pack, or not choice pack, just 85 plus pack, any extra rewards I can get from hut moments and then hut rivals for the uh, tier packs. So, I don't know. There's not really much else to do. Um, and if you, but if you guys haven't done this, I definitely recommend doing it. Who knows, dude? If, if you guys are a new player on Christmas and you don't have that much resource to like get a team of the year card by doing the sets, you could potentially just stack up a shitload of packs and you know, on the slim chance that you get a pull, that would be fucking sick. 
I'm rooting for you guys. I'm also rooting for myself. I haven't gotten a purple in two months, dude. Two fucking months. It's insane. So I don't know. My boy told me I'm due. I've been trying to manifest it like meditation up in the mountains and shit, but who knows? We'll fucking see. So it comes out on Friday, January 5th, 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna be dropping a video that night of me ripping all of these packs. I already have like 23 cooking right now. That's not including squad battles rewards this week, rivals rewards this week, hut champs rewards this week where I got an ultimate choice pack and um, like all the rewards I'm gonna get for the Hut Moments challenges I'm doing and the Hut Rush challenges that I'm doing. So it's gonna be a crazy pack opening, probably my biggest pack opening. And like I said, I'm fucking due, bro. Come on, we need a purple. We need a team of the year. That's gonna be it for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope I gave you some inspiration and some ideas for what you should grind until team of the year comes out on Friday. Once again, it's your boy, Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.